Hi, this is Kerala at KeralaFickland.com and WelcomeNetwork.com and we continue looking at irregular verbs and I stopped at the verb to become and I said to become had quite a, diff had a, quite a number of meanings in Spanish and let me give you just a list is llegar a ser, ponerse, poverse, uh, quedarse, hacerse and um, llegar a ser I think is the most the most known and um, you know in English we say to become but mostly no no I would say 50-50 or maybe maybe a little bit 55-45 you hear turn out to be okay turn out to be uh, which means you know to become so to become is the infinitive the past tense is became it's the same thing as, as the verb come and came and the past part of simple is become alright so um, if I say he became um, a person I he eventually became a person I did not recognize um, you guys are saying una persona que yo no reconocía I think that's how you would say it in Spanish or ha llegado a ser una mujer ah, you have become a beautiful woman ha llegado a ser una mujer bonita Okay, una mujer bonita, inteligente. All right, has llegado a ser. Has llegado. Okay, so the llegado, has llegado, is um, llegado a ser. Llegado a ser una mujer bonita. All right, so um, the llegado a ser would be the past participle. Llegado is the past participle, the ado. And llegaste a ser would be the past tense. Okay, so let's continue here. Let's continue here. We're looking at, and like I said in the other um, video, I can't give you everything, but I can try to give you the most important. A lot of these are important. A lot to begin. Okay, comenzar or empezar. Empezar. No, and the past tense is began. Okay, and the past participle is begun. Be careful, especially with English speakers from the United States. Sometimes they'll use begun as the past tense also. And I even saw the in the Oxford Dictionary where they recognize that. It's not recognized in the United States as a correct form of English. But I think even in the Oxford Dictionary it says it's it's used that way by some English speaker, but it's used incorrectly. So it's not recognized. It's recognized, but it's recognized as an incorrect form. But you'll see this sometimes. You'll see the same thing with to swim. Um, they'll use the past participle form for the past form. That doesn't happen with a lot of verbs, most verbs, but some verbs it happens with. I can't explain it. It's my language, but sometimes I don't know why certain things develop. Okay, so it's to begin, began, begun, and it's comenzar, comenzar, and empezar. Okay. Let's see. To bend, well, okay, bend, agachar, you know, when you bend like this, agachar. Alright, so the past tense is bent, okay, and the past participle is the same as the past tense, bet. Okay, now we're talking about to bet, apostar, right, and the past tense is bet, and the past participle is bet. So, aposté y apostado. Right? Aposté, apostaste, you know, apostado. He apostado, había apostado, hubiera apostado, okay, habría apostado, habré apostado, whatever, whichever, how you ever want to use the past, uh, past um, participle. Okay. Sometimes you'll notice that the, uh, that one is not very important. That's to bind, it's bound, bound. To bite, okay, morder, morder, that's a, sort of important. So to bite, morder, uh, past tense is bit, and the past participle is bitten, okay, bitten. Okay. To bleed, sangrar, the past participle and the past tense, same form, bled, bled, sangrado. To blow, which is soplar, and you know how they, 
in Mexico. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to be using this correctly. You know, Spanish is not my native language, but I do remember that they would use soplar, not just to mean like this. Now watch, I'm going to go. <gasps> right, you blow the candles out, for example. Right on birthday cake, and <gasps> right. But I remember they used soplar also mean, for example, no me puede soplar una respuesta because you know you, you're taking a test and you don't know an answer and you want someone to whisper to you an answer right so you're cheating in a way so blah no in English you can't use that that does not have that meaning at all so blah it just means <sighs> that's it right now so blah I mean to blow also has a vulgar meaning probably if you look at listen to this tape and you're saying but she's not giving us the other meaning no she isn't <laughs> Oh, she isn't. So let me give it to you. So to blow is the infinitive. The past tense is blue. Okay. And it's spelled B-L-E-W. It's not spelled the same way as the color B-L-U-E, which is blue. Azul. But it's spelled differently. Azul is B-L-U-E. Uh, and the past tense of to blow, so play, so play for example, is um, B-L-E-W. And the past participle is B L O W N. B L O W N. So, plado. Avo, 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 avo. Okay. To break. All right. Now, to break is also irregular in Spanish. Roto, right? El rotado. No, el roto. Oh, excuse me. <gasps> you know, I've, I heard that in Mexico so many times. Rotado, but that's wrong. Roto. Excuse me. Roto. That's bad Spanish. Very bad Spanish. Okay. And um, so it's to break, romper, okay? Past tense, broke, rompi. For example, rompi algo. Oh, no, se me rompió. You know, you don't use it the same way as in English. Mm -mm. In Spanish, in Spanish, you go, you know, se me rompió versus rompi. Okay, so it's different. And uh, uh, broken is uh, roto. Okay, broken. So it's break, broke, broken. Okay, mm, that's not very important to breathe. That's not the, okay to bring. Okay, to bring traer, traer, past tense brought, b r o u g h t. All right, and the past participle is brought, b r o u g h t. That's an irregular verb in Spanish. And right now, traje. Right, it's irregular in Spanish. Thumb also traído. It's irregular in Spanish also. Sometimes I blank on the irregular verbs in Spanish. Okay, that's not very important. That's not a very important verb. That's not, okay, to build. Now, yeah, this is irregular, it's irregular. Okay, to build, construir, okay. Edificar, I think. Construir, edificar, I think in Spanish also. To build, past tense, built. The infinity and the B-U-I-L-T and the past participle is also built. By the way, although sometimes I don't spell it, you can always come in, get the irregular verbs. There's about three or four different kinds of sets that you can get as far as, you know, how much, how much detailed you want. Okay, to burn. Now, I must say in American English, these verbs are no longer irregular. In British English, they are... And for my generation, they are. So I'm going to give you the irregular form. If you want to use the regular form, ED, fine. But I'm going to give you the irregular form. To burn, quemar. Okay, queme, for example, burnt. And quemado, burnt. And it's B-U-R-N-T. And B-U-R-N-T. But I'm telling you, in the United States, the verb to burn has become regular. And they say burned, burned. Okay. Um, to burst, oh, gotta hurry up. Uh, reventarse, romperse, um, volarse, to burst. And the past participle, the past tense is burst, and the past participle is burst. By the way, most Americans get this verb very, very mixed up. Okay, this is Corrala Ficklin, because I'm running out of time. This is Corrala Ficklin at CorralaFicklin.com and WelcomeNetwork.com.